Inside the Circle, Season 8, Episode 5.1. Sean, we are getting closer. Be sure to follow us on Tweeters. Hey, we did a live broadcast. Be sure to follow us. Where was I going with that? Oh, we did a live broadcast from Dublin, Sean. Okay. From the Kevin Clean Memorial. People are watching. They link to it. Um... Facebook Live, you get on Facebook, you do Facebook Live, but if you do Twitter Live, it just becomes Periscope, and people are watching. Through when Twitter I say people, or Facebook? Through, through Twitter. Okay. But it's called Periscope. But Sean, when I say people are watching, people oh, they're watching, baby. are watching. We've got head coaches from D1 colleges watching. Assistant coaches from D1 colleges watching. What's my whole point? People that have nothing else to do in their life watching. <laughs> yes! <laughs> but actually, what I was going to say is... Subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. As we move closer to the whiteboard predictions, you're going to want to be in tune with our YouTube channel. I thought you were going to say subscription or something. No, no, no. I got nothing like that. But Sean... You're really like getting... No, no, no. I, I want to talk about wrestling, Sean. Thank it was a great weekend of wrestling. Uh, good? Good. Uh, okay. Okay. good. We're good. Okay. Okay, I hate to say great if it's no, really I'm gonna good. No, I'm going to say great. Because that what, was, what tournament was really great. Really we'll great. We'll get to that, but it really, was legit. Yeah. Sean, what tournaments happened this weekend? Well, the J.C. Gorman happened. Uh, the Logan Elm tournament happened. The Licking Valley tournament happened. Ooh. Two tournaments in one gym happened. Kevin Cleveland Memorial. Like a freshman at JV? No, we talked about this last week, Sean. Like JV varsity. No. Okay. Freshman varsity? No, Sean. No middle I school I either. That. I know you didn't. <laughs> it was boys and girls. Sean, let's start there. Okay. Olin Tangy Orange, the Pioneer Classic. Let's start with the boys. Okay. Because on one side of the gym was the boys, the other side of the gym was the girls. Sean, Olin Tangy Orange walks away your champions. How many champs did they have? We always want to know how many champs the homeschool had. Uh, five. You'd be wrong. It's oh. seven. Seven Sean, champions. Yes, they, wow. had two, they scored 225 points. That's Sean, a lot of points. Yes, and they're champs. 106 pounds. Ferguson. A name that you know at 132, Nap. Ooh, I like that guy. Are we serving him out to the people while you're ready? Or are we just dropping him in there just a little bit? I'm Pay attention. Him out there. We're yeah, serving yeah, him out there. Yeah, Pay yeah. attention, that's what folks. We do. We cut that's chair. right. That's right. 138 pounds. Miller is your champ. 145 had uh, Kreider. And then a name that we've heard before, 195 pounds, Medina Place winner, I do believe, Blunchley. State alternate. State alternate. Ooh. Uh, 220, Kaminsky, along with 285, Kimmerling. Those are your champs for Seems Olentangy like Orange Boys. Oh, great day for them, I now, would do say. We have, do they, are they double champs? They go double? No, 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 no. They, they stayed on the boys' side of the gym. Yeah, but they win both the tournaments. Oh, but alas. No. You brought that up. You knew that. I didn't. I'm watching the show. How do yeah, I know? Yeah, that's right. You're I, watching. If I knew, I wouldn't be watching the show. Watch the show. Sean, Olentangy Orange Girls Tournament. Miami East, the dreaded nemesis. Ooh, I feel like that's going to be like a, a head bob at the wire. Yes. By the time they get to the state tournament. I love that idea. Ladies, we need that 6 a.m., two days a week. We need to be training. All right. Now, Miami East walks away your champ okay. with 141 points. <laughs> Olin Tangy Orange Girls walk away second place with 125, followed by Marysville with 90 points, Sean. Oh, go Marysville. Heck yeah. Did the home team have a champ, Sean? Yes. I'm going to say yes. Yes. No, they didn't. They didn't? No. Wow. I have to think real hard about where the last one was from. I don't really thought they had a champ. And I, I might have I might know the answer to this. But first, Delaware Hayes walks away with a champ. Avant. But wait. Uh 131. Now these weights are a little different. They are so different. We, yep, so I just want to make sure. 101 to 235? 101 to 235. Yeah, okay. that's correct. Okay. So 131 pounds is Avant from Delaware Hayes. The uh, the coaches love her. And I'm sure they love all the girls. Big Walnut had a champ at 137 in Martin. And then, Sean, you're going to recognize this name. Crumb from Olentangy. Crumb yes, from Olentangy. Yes. Little sister. I think she might even play softball. Athlete extraordinaire. She scores champ at 150 pounds. There's awesome. one more. Franco, I do believe, from Hilliard Bradley at I love, 160. I love that uh, what this shows the sport is, I don't know, growing or what the word I'm looking for is that all these different schools have a champ. Yes. It wasn't condensed to one or two schools. Yes. Like, you have a champ, we have a champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, the what was that? Yes. The Liberty Tournament had 10 different, ten different yeah. champs. Yes. Like, that says something. I think all I don't these, know what it says. But it says <laughs> something. I think all these schools having different champs shows that the... Uh, Sport can grow yep. in different areas of the city. Most certainly. And I think I, I would also add to that the fact that 
there, the, the fact that many schools are represented not only shows that they're winning championships, but they also have uh, clientele. Yeah. They have girls right, wrestlers right. that right. are compete. trying to, yes, that yeah, are trying to compete. compete. So that's awesome. Sean, there's your Olin Tangent Orange, Pioneer Boys, Pioneer Girls. Next up, Logan Elm. Sean, I do believe they won a tournament a while back. They uh, finished top three in another tournament. This time they finished third in their own tournament. But Sean, a team that we mentioned quite a few times. Miami Trace walks away your champ with 223 points, followed by Monroe. I don't know. Monroe, 186 points, then Logan Elm of 178 <laughs> and a half know. points. Sean, uh, did the home team have a champ? If I'm asking, that means yes. They did. They only had they had, not only had one, they had two champs. 132 pounds. Holsha. I really think it's that. Holsha. Yeah. And then 170, they had Linton. What was the name last week? You were like stuck on. I think it was around 132 or 138. <laughs> it was, as well. and That's I can't crazy. remember what it was. Heard, heard, heard stat. There's an FT in there. I hope they don't have me ever commentate that match. <laughs> I hope not. But sure, I'll be green and red. <laughs> <laughs> Home team, away team. Sean, there's another guy that won uh, um, a, the tournament, 138 pounds. His name is Caleb Lake. He's from Chillicothe. Wait a minute. This is a central district. You're right. You said Chillicothe. I don't really consider them central district. They're not central district until the Derby district, Sean. Till the Ooh. sectionals come Ooh. along. Oh, and this is 138. Caleb Lake at 138, and we talked about 138. So I was about to say, I remember you talking about it at the Ooh. beginning of the year. Well, guess what? Here's another name to drop in there. Caleb wow. Lake, I saw him at the Bad Apple Brawl. I do believe he got second place. I actually, when we shook hands, I said, hey, hey, well, where were you? What happened last year? And he honestly said, hey, I just had a bad tournament. So, and I'm telling you what, I saw the kid wrestle, and I believe he probably had a bad tournament because for him not to move forward... I'm excited to watch the sectionals of With 138. Oh, like around yes. the, around you the get district. four of them. No. Sean, that, we're not going to stop there for this tournament. Okay. 152 pounds. I know you, I'm about to say get used to hearing this name, but I think you already are. Noah Ratliff Reynoldsburg, champ. Yes. This kid is just, I mean, he's kicking down doors. Yeah, I'm here. Let's go. Uh, 152 pounds. Next up, Sean, I uh, videotaped the OAC Youth Sectional Tournaments uh, back in December. I got to talk. It was at Dublin Trail. Okay. Yeah. I got to talk to the head coach. Okay. Yep. You're listening. I'm here. And the kid, the you know, the kids are all helping out. The right. junior high kids and the high school kids. I love that. I yeah. Love that. So do I. I think it's great. And they're all working the tables. Well, along the way comes this kid, and the coach says, "Hey, right there's my 220 pounder. He's allowed to make 220 this week. Watch out for him." Boom. Wins the Logan Elm Championship. Ooh. 220 pounds. 220 pounds, yet again, oh. another weight, name in the weight. This like is Joe last, Huber. Last couple of weeks, like two or three weeks, it's been like 38 or 220. It's like, yes, seems to be a highlight yes. whenever crazy things happen. The guys either are 38 or 220. Well, there going to be other weights wrestled? Yeah, there are. Okay. Well, 106 to 220, yeah. Okay. Those are great. Yeah. I mean, you want to talk about two weights all the time. I, just, <laughs> I, I mean, wait, I don't know if OSHA. This kind of no, 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 no. They got it going on. Well, Sean, well, that's, that, that they don't have it going that's on. That's true. But, or otherwise, we'd have Thursday, Friday, Saturday state tournament. Now, right. uh, Sean, that's Logan Elm. Let's okay. head out east. Let's head out east. Keep going east. That's way yes, east. Yes, that's past Old Man that's Bend. Like Belmont <laughs> County. <East. laughs> Licking Valley runs a tournament. They do a great job. They bring in a lot of stiff competition. This year's champ is New Lexington. They've been a staple in the area. I mean, just a tough team. They also run a very tough tournament. Uh, yeah, they're maybe, a little tougher. Down. Couple, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. I think good. it's like early February, maybe. Yes. So New Lex walks away with the champ with 321 points. Troy Christian comes around Indiana. Uh, comes over from Indiana. Dude. I know. 299 and a half points. Followed by fifth place, Licking Valley. They're the highest uh, placing team in the area. They had 221 points on the strength of not one, but two champs. And, Sean, these are names that we've we've said multiple times. Uh, I remember uh, Cray Muzikowski, 132-pound champ. He beat somebody at Liberty two years ago. Yeah, he beat uh, Keaton? Keaton or... I think it is Keaton. I think it was Keaton. I it was Keaton. So, Keaton I mean, too. a freshman steps up, and ah, that's pretty good. Uh, he right. beats him. So, and then uh, the teammate Dylan Dotson, 160 pounds. Stud. Absolutely. Yeah, he's had a lot of success. Oh, I'm, I'm Dylan Dotson. I think he plays football, too. I'm, he's he's jacked. <laughs> oh, my gosh. His neck's like this big. He's, like, ah. uh, he's an amazing wrestler, great kid, and uh, does a great job for Licking Valley. So, there's your Licking Valley tournament. So, you got Licking Valley, Logan Elm, Olin Tangent Orange. Girls and boys, Sean, one thing we mentioned at the beginning of the show, I want to slide in here, the J.C. Gorman Tournament. Sean, before we head over to Dublin, 
the J.C. Gorman tournament. I got a buddy from Ontario. He loves this tournament. Canada? No, 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 no. Ontario. It's out there. Okay. Wagason wrestles from. Anywho, they. It's a tough tournament, and he told us all the time, "It's a tough tournament. It's a tough tournament." Sean, it's a tough tournament. <laughs> I'm looking it's at the, the guys who did not place. So I'm thinking to myself, "Holy jeez!" Well, Marion Pleasant walks away with a champ at 106 pounds. A wa a a wa wa. That kid's a hammer. And I'm telling you, won the Liberty tournament. Yes, that kid's good. Very good. And we also had another finalist, and uh, Jude at 113 walks away. Uh, uh, Jude's 13 out of 20. Ooh, it might have been 20. Now I, I think, think it might have been 20. Uh, you figure it out. Roll the dice on that. Throw some darts, man. These dude boys, they, they're, they're all known the same. Okay. Just a big ball of fire there. Um, also had Aldridge at 152 for uh, Westland, also placed. Okay. And uh, had some other places in there from um, Marion Pleasant, who was the highest scoring team. Uh, I think they got 7th, and then Northmore got 11th. So They had a couple places too, right? Yes, they did. Okay. Most certainly, Christo, uh, I think it may have won them. But anywho, all that to say, J.C. <laughs> Corbin. Really not, <laughs> not no, no, no. Hey, but I will say this. Uh, Northmore and Marion Pleasant were at the same event, and Marion Pleasant outplaced them pretty good. Now, we I did notice. This. This I did. Like I would love to see that movie. In all fairness, there were a couple guys that were out for Northmore. I think Becker was out for Northmore. I think he'll be back soon. But uh, he was out, so I'm thinking I don't know how many points that would have made up. But my whole point is they were in the same gym. They were competing. Marion Pleasant came out on top. I still want to see that dual meet. See Sean, it. I want to see it. That's right. <laughs> I want to <laughs> see it. Sean, let's talk Kevin Cleveland Memorial. We built this last week as the top tournament in the area. And I believe it lived up to it. Oh, it definitely lived up to it. Oh, Ooh, my God. Sean, on, yeah, good. If you've ever watched the show or for any amount of length of time, you know that me and Mark absolutely love bracket-style tournaments, one-day bracket-style tournaments. Oh. I mean, we cannot get enough of them. And one weight class had a 32-man bracket. Is that correct? <laughs> uh, no, there were like five or six that had more than 16 guys. I think they're that capped off at 19 or 23 guys. But the teams they continue to bring in, I mean, Clay, Centerville, yes. Westville, North Central. Yes. I mean, it's just, it's, I think they had 19 or 20 schools there, and it was yes. just fabulous wrestling the whole day long. But you know what made a great mark, and we talked about this uh, off camera before we started filming, the open hospitality, the warm mat that they, uh, the ladies there oh. rolled out for us. Jody Sink, Melissa Zimmerman, even Don Hubschman was nice to you. I know. Can you imagine that? <laughs> I think I even heard him say he appreciated you. Oh. I don't know what that means. Uh, there were a couple other ladies. Melissa well, Howard was yes. there. Yes. Great. Uh, yes. Donna Segura. Yes. I mean, oh, uh, yes. I really, you know, I went home and told my wife that, like, man, they really were so welcoming to us. It really, you know, if you followed us from day one, when me and Mark first got into this and we started going to tournaments, we had yes. this every year. We wanted to go to one or two more tournaments than we had yes. the previous year so we could see every tournament around there. But as we're... You know, starting to get close to 10 years doing this, we find these tournaments that we just absolutely love going to. Yes. Because not only the wrestling, but just the people from the community and the people that we ended up meeting through wrestling yep. that are just great people. And Dublin Soda is starting to become one of those tournaments where great we people. just love to go because everybody involved in the tournament is just good people. Uh, Agreed. You see, they gave me a shirt. They gave me one too, but it's in the laundry, but... Uh, yes. I mean, this is an incredible shirt. I mean, uh, oh. Hubschman had uh, oh. burritos for us. I mean, Hold truly, wait, wait. I say this all the time, though. Like, I don't think you guys will ever understand, not just Dublin Cider, but all the terms we go to, how much me and Mark truly appreciate everything that you guys do for us. We really do, and I know when you meet us live, we're a little quirky and backwards, <laughs> but trust me, we really do appreciate you guys. Very much. And I was going to say, he got the Dublin shirt. I got a Canal Winchester shirt. I totally oh, forgot. Very nice. Real soft, touch yeah, no. <laughs> um, I totally forgot Canal Winchester. I don't know how I forgot. So when I saw the uh, the Roush boys there, I was like, Harrison? Hey, this is great. I love it. So I wanted to shout out to those guys and uh, their junior high coach and Sean Cassie. Love seeing those guys. But there was wrestling yes, going on. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Sean, uh, let's talk um let's talk uh, championship teams. Okay. Oregon Clay comes down from north, uh, near Toledo, basically, Super yeah, Upper Peninsula, Michigan. Yes. Fantastic. I remember what, something you said stuck out to me. Very well coached. Right. Clay walks away your champs with 248 points, Sean, and then followed by Centerville, back I think, again. I think Centerville has wrestled more in the Central District than any other Central District team. Uh, <laughs> certainly more than Hurricane Bradley. Uh, <laughs> uh, they had 199 and a half points, followed by the top school from the Central District area, which is Westerville North, at 147 points. Then Watkins Memorial. Stop. Oh. Watkins Memorial. Watkins Did Memorial. Did you say Watkins Memorial? I said Watkins Memorial. Uh, you know, me and Mark were talking at a tournament, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks ago. And he's like, yes. do you have anybody in outside the top 10 that you think could possibly sneak in? And I'm thinking it through. I was like, well, the team's going to have a superstar on their team that's guaranteed points. 
and a strong supporting cast that could probably get a lot of kick-in points. Um, you know, I think it's Watkins Memorial. And boom, here boom. they are placing in True front story. of Dublin Sciota, the home yes. team, uh, by two and a half points. And they even placed in front of Mount Vernon, who I, I love the Mount Vernon team. So They came out of the box hot. They did, sure. they so, did, yes. It's a long season, though. So let's talk about chance. They don't want to hear us ramble on. They want to hear about chance. Oh, they do. Let's go. What are these guys going to do? If, <laughs> well, if they've come this far, what's well, another 20 minutes? No, True. but we did have some Central District champs. Westerville North had one and Connor Uten. Stud. They also had a finalist with Gooding at 120 Ooh, who yes. beat state qualifier Pendergraft. Pender yes. Pendergraft from playing the semifinals in a great match. You know, we talked about that kid happening a big yes. win at Liberty. He follows it up again here, so keep an eye on that guy at 120. Whoa, whoa. Did, this, did the Humps go have a champ? <laughs> Not only did they have they won, they had two. They had two. Yes. Ah, uh, Segura at 152 and then Pulliam, which weight? 195? It is oh, 195. You, you like got me, yes. Yeah, I mean, like he's wrestling that. 182. Why would he jump? Like, who goes up? Wait. Wait, call me. Did. Oh, did yeah, he? Yeah, Sean, what do you think I should do this week? My like, I'm looking at this braggy private easy way to go 95. He's like, I got you, buddy. Thanks. And here he is. Yeah, he won. Watch the show. Let's watch the show. Uh, Sean, uh, speaking of supporting cast and superstars, Cole Four walks away your champ. Probably the highlight match of that the night. That was definitely the highlight yeah. match. You had a uh, uh, three-time state qualifier. Uh, one time placer taking on state runner up uh, Norwood from yes. Pickerington North. I think everyone in the building except maybe Norwood and uh, Coach Oni was shocked to see him at 170, but yeah. it was a great match. I think it built up. The tournament all day was exciting, yeah, yeah, and everyone yeah, yeah. was waiting for this match. So That's it kind of like, style tournaments it kinda concluded there with uh, great wrestling. But uh, that was a great yeah. win for him. Certainly. Cole Four wins at 170. Give, yep. me, give me some other local guys. Uh, 182 there. pounds. So pull him goes up to 195. Cody Wilson drops down That's 82. That's so funny you say that because if Cody Wilson, has he wrestled 182 this year? No, this was his first event. So he calls me and says, what weight do you think I should go? I was like, that is so funny. I just talked to the wrong boy and he's going 95. So he's like, great, I think I was going to go 82. I'm going to go 82. And they both end up being champions. Yes, they did. Watch the show. Yeah. Also, Sean, one more. Cannot miss. <laughs> we'll never forget this we guy. We won't forget this guy. And you won't either. 285 pounds, Columbus to sales, Cole Potts. I'm telling you, man, this kid is amazing. He's going, uh, he's got some football. He's just pinning everybody. He's, no, he's, he, going, he's got a football scholarship. Yeah, James Anderson, James Adams University. James Madison. James Madison, they're yes. champs, and they've got a playoff game coming up, and then he goes the next week with some big team camaraderie. The new guys are coming in. Man, his, his dad was all about it. I love listening. To, you could tell the enthusiasm was just pouring out, and that's awesome. Cole, we wish you the absolute best. Moving forward, well, I'm sure we're not done with you yet because I'm sure the next tournament you're going to be at, you're going to win that one too. So, um, oh yeah, and speaking he's, of, he's really looking good. The next tournament he could be at. Let's talk about upcoming events. Let's talk about upcoming events. Well, Sean, we're moving into Thursday Night Thunder with OCC Thursday. Oh, it's getting hot. Boom! I mean, not to jump to too Rochester. far ahead, but next yeah. week you're starting to get OU. I mean, uh, UA against top schools. We got that, yes. that dreaded Double Coffin against Marysville clash that we have every year. Not this Thursday, but next Thursday at Marysville. What do you see? The ninth, the sixteenth, and the twenty third are all oh, Thursday yeah. night thunders. Oh, you got like Liberty West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying those are the yes. Thursday nights. Oh. Gotcha. We also have uh, this weekend, this Saturday. If you're wondering, ah, oh, man, these guys keep talking about these tournaments that you should go what out to. What am I doing this Saturday, Yes, though? Central Crossing High School has a tournament. Not a bad tournament. They bring in teams from, like, yes. the area from all around as well. Yes. Oh, we also have the Porter Memorial. You want to get out and see Hillier Bradley? This is your chance. Oh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, they might not be there. They might not they be there. There might be snow. There might be snow. There might be snow. No, know. there's no way there's snow. No way. It's, so it's going to be memorial. rain. That's true. Now that I think about it, it's usually next week. Next, that next thing you're going to tell me is not going to be rain at the Memorial Tournament. Hey, it'll be rain. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The leather face? <laughs> What's the curse of the... I don't know. It always rains at the Memorial. Jack. I know. There's a curse put on it. Okay. Okay, whatever, dude. I'll tell you more about that offline. Shot Lenny Ball, Marion Franklin. Uh, Lenny Ball Classic. Is a lot of teams there. there are a lot of teams. Uh, like, nine or ten, maybe 15. Uh, I think it's more than that, yeah. Oh, maybe I missed one on the bottom. Uh, it's probably closer to 15. Lenny Ball. At Murray Franklin High School. Yes, Lenny Ball, a phenomenal coach for many years at Marion Franklin. Had some amazing teams. Incredible individuals. Johnny Copas. Oh, what he win, like 42 straight city league titles? Oh, I mean, had to be. It yeah, was yeah. something crazy. It, was, it wasn't 42 guys. That's yeah. funny, but it was an extraordinary number. Say he was coached for 25 years. He probably had like 
20, 18 to 20? Yeah. Right around 20. I can see that. 20 city titles back when city wrestling was absolutely huge. Yeah, I agree with that. That's I mean, the thing. I don't think people now can appreciate what city wrestling was back then. Uh, no, because where people live at now, they didn't live 20, 30 years ago. No, I know. Ago. They all would have lived in the city and all those people, yes. Back then, Old Danger was one Division three school. I mean, look at us That's now. what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> look at us now. Look oh, now, now he's riding his coattails. <laughs> I meant us as in the yeah. city. Yeah, there's one more tournament district. we want to mention, and uh, I realize they're not Central District, right. but I did write them down for a couple of reasons, but St the Steve Yinger Memorial Tournament, it's Nelsonville, York, they run their tournament, and we would be amiss if we did not mention, I mean, those guys are up here enough, we've been, we've been involved with uh, Coach Yinger for, geez, 15 years now, uh, probably. Easily, easily. Yeah, so he's a great guy. Steve, from everything I gather, Steve Yinger was a great individual. And uh, I mean, the well, the Apple Yinger family fall. just the Yinger family does a great job of promoting wrestling. Yes, I mean, Matt That's does what everything. Moms yep. everywhere taking pictures for yep. the local newspaper and stuff. I mean, yeah. boys are out there doing clinics yep. and stuff. I mean, that family really does a lot in the southern part of the um, southeastern part of the yeah, Ohio. Really yep. so. And Steve was a great guy, and me and Mark love tournaments that are named for memorials after people that were big in the community and big in, in the uh, sport of wrestling. So, Sean, there's a lot going on. We got duels, we got tournaments, we had all of wheat last week. Top 10? No, all not a top 10 yet. I want one more week of duels. Let's get it started. Uh, we got, I think we got a couple changes. That. Plus, we got to leave, leave, leave these guys with like, oh, something. Yeah, like, yeah. Leave them wanting. Leave them wanting. I get more. it. I um, get it. Well, Sean, where do we go from here then? Got any knock knock jokes? I don't, but do <laughs> okay. we have any? Uh, what's up with our green screen? These people green might, screen. They've been emailing me and texting me. What's up with I actually screen? got two text messages asking about the green screen. We want to see one of those. Well, I got great news. The studio is coming together faster than I thought. We've got heat there. We have electricity. And I'm thinking it's possible, if not next week, the following week, we could have a green screen. It's so you're possible. you're saying six days from now or 13 days from now? That's right. Okay. One of those. It's right. possible. Because the sponsors really want to I know about hey. the silver, gold, and platinum package. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of sponsors, do we have any new ones? Or are we not we're gonna, yet? We're, we do, okay. but we're going to wait for the green screen. Yeah. We're going to okay. like... Uh, yes. Is that is that your That's funny way of the green screen making sure the cash is in the envelope? <laughs> I'm just yeah, check picking up what I'm throwing down. <laughs> well, Sean, that is a fantastic episode 5.1, and now you are inside the circle.